While the effects of climate change can feel so overwhelming at times that it's easy to feel like a small group of people really can't do much about it. Well, what about a group of smaller people? Our Garvin Thomas found just such a group in San Jose and is here with their story. We're talking about elementary school students. And Monarch Butterflies. Do you know, one of the reasons I wanted to do this story was uh, something that happened on the anchor desk sitting next to you not long ago. There was a story about Monarch Butterfly populations. Once in the millions in California, a 2020 survey could only find a couple thousand. I was stunned it was so low. Well, it turns out I wasn't the only one. And this story is about some young people who are trying to reverse that trend. In the second grade classrooms at San Jose's Steindorf Steam Magnet School. So what are we going to write on the equation? Teachers like Kate Moody spend plenty of time working with students on their numbers and letters. But it's three letters in particular that get extra attention around here. PBL. They stand for project based learning. You try and find a real world problem that the kids can um, embrace and try and find solutions to. Right over here. Well, for the past five years, the project second graders at Steindorf have been working to solve is the case of the vanishing monarch butterfly. There's a chrysalis right over here. Laura Howard and Miles Heitzman are part of this year's effort. All over campus for the past few years, students have been planting milkweed, a plant critical to the monarch's survival, but one that's been disappearing due to the use of weed killers as well as climate change. So we need to plant more milkweed so, so they, they don't go extinct. And this year alone, the monarch population of California, thanks to Steindorf second graders, was increased by at least a few dozen. This is really the first year we have seen them fluttering around campus, and the kids have been so excited. It's amazing to just hatch more butterflies. It's just great, and it's very, like, I'm very happy. And while numbers like this are clearly not enough to single-handedly change the monarch's future, the confidence these students are gaining from the experience might just one day benefit everyone's future. And that's what PBL is all about. I mean, is, is giving kids the power to change things in the community. Yeah, the numbers are pretty dire when it comes to the monarch butterflies. By some estimates, the population down more than 90%, that's and terrible. they are not on the endangered species list, and it's kind of a double-edged coin. They were in trouble, but the, the people who make the decision said there were more species that were in more trouble that needed to go on the list before the monarch butterflies. What That's impressive great, to see what those kids are doing, right? I know, what a right? great project. I'm going to plant some milkweed in my backyard and see Same what here. happens. Same here. Thanks, Garth.